Nuclear bombs, like bands with funny hair, were highly sought out in the later half of the 19th century. With the Cold War going on, countries like the US and Russia competed to have the largest and greatest nuclear arsenal in the world. Here is an actual testing of a nuclear bomb. Wow, scary stuff. When looking at a nuclear bomb, I've always wondered how they work. So now, I'll explain exactly that. The two most famous nuclear bombs dropped on Nagasaki and Hiroshima, as well as nuclear power plants, are both run on nuclear fission. This is how fission works. First you have a larger atom, let's just say uranium-235. This then splits into two smaller atoms, spontaneously or on impact with another particle. For example, krypton-92 and barium-141. This then creates a huge release of energy. However, as technology advances, so has a nuclear bomb, the devastating hydrogen bomb. They use nuclear fusion, the same thing that powers the sun. Hi. Yeah, that sun. Let's see how fusion works. First, you have two smaller atoms. Let's just say for this example, two hydrogen atoms. They then combine to make one larger atom, in this case, helium. This then creates, again, a large release of energy. The worst nuclear bomb ever detonated, the Tsar Bomba, is one of the scariest things you'll ever see. Yes, even more than spiders, heights, clowns, and liking an old photo on Instagram. If for some reason nukes didn't freak you out before, prepare to freak out. As we see in this graphic, we see the Tsar Bomba, and down that tiny little circle, if we zoom in, we see the Hiroshima bomb. On this graphic, we can see the tallest point on Earth looks minuscule next to the fireball of the Tsar Bomba. There is an interesting website called NukeMap, and shows you the damage done. This is if the Tsar Bomba was dropped on Detroit City. This is how large and devastating the Tsar Bomba could be. However, this isn't completely a bad thing. Scientists are currently working on making nuclear fusion plants a thing. If this becomes a reality, we can have extremely higher output renewable energy source for the future. Well, who knows? Anyways, thank you for watching.